This is La Volta, 16th century dance, anonymous piece, arranged by Frederick Noack. down and uh, measure by measure. Uh, the first phrase you'll see that at the end of that uh, the first eight bars is a repeat sign so you are going to repeat that. Uh, follow the fingering very carefully it leads you from one chord to another very smoothly and it'll help you play this piece a lot better. So basically that third finger is going to be on that on that low G and you're going to really use all the other fingers around it to play the melody. That first couple of measures uh, goes like this. That fourth finger is going to hit that D because that third finger is, is holding that G down. So that, that, that is very important. That's on the left hand. On the right hand, make sure your I and your M alternate. That's very important to get a nice smooth type of uh, melody to sound out. Alright, and then going on to the third measure, you know we have that like an A minor chord, of course it starts out on G, in the key of G, uh, on that G chord, and then by the third measure, so if you use those types of chords to to guide you through, uh, go ahead and use that to, to help you through. That fourth finger also comes up, comes to to help on that on that D. So you, you make use of that uh, as a, as it is written in the uh, in the score there. Okay. phrase, the first part of the phrase there, um, it comes to an end there uh, on that, again that G is being held, hold that as long as you can, that thumb is going to be playing those bass notes um, in, uh, and, and all, throughout the piece, okay? Mm -hmm. So from the first measure I'm going on to the end of that first phrase. measures five through eight there I uh, want you to have that fourth finger on the D first finger there on the C second finger on the, on the A and then coming up to the cadence try and put your one and two down at the same time you have the same bass note two D's but different melody notes hit the C with the M finger and the and the A with the, uh, the A note with the uh, with the I finger. Okay, so really, you know, make sure you have the fingerings down really, really, really well. Uh, let's go on to the second part, the second eight measures. Uh, again, that G is going to be a, a very uh, integral part of the bass, the bass notes. Okay, the first two measures. Hit this D with you see with the stem down, that with the thumb. Because that 
as a bass note, not a melody note. Measures, uh, those four measures there are kind of an, Im an imitation of each other. as a recapitulation or a direct repeat of what you had the first eight measures. Okay, so very important. One of the main things about this is keeping those fingers down, keeping those bass notes ringing. connected and keeping those fingers on the fingerboard oh I should say over the fingerboard not out of bounds in bounds okay and you'll have a lot of success with that so here it is one more time all the way from the beginning 